Harvard's Ferry Middle School kids, and this is our podcast. Since we get a school near Harvard's Ferry National Historical Park, we decided to make a video on its history. We chose one really cool event from each decade, and we hope you enjoy it. Senator Jennings Randolph, one of the first supporters of the park. Jennings signs petition for park. It begins. He introduces the bill to Congress. I support the building of the Harper's Ferry National Monument. Enter Harold Ix, one who opposed the park petition. It did not provide sufficient funds. I motion for reconsideration of this bill. The motion to reconsider the bill is passed. Finally, the park bill is passed. The architect Archie Franzen and the historian Charles Snell inspected the Harper House and advised on its restoration. They wrote reports about it. In 1960, the National Park Service acquired John Brown's Ford. In 1968, they decided to move the building closer to its original location so it was more accessible to visitors. In 1978, Jimmy Carter visited national parks in the area, including Harper's Ferry. Here, we see him touring the John Brown Fort with historian Shelby Foote. The flood was devastating. The water crested at 29.8 feet. The cleanup process took nine months. The flood yielded some positive results in the end and helped them better prepare for the next flood. In 1994, Harbors Ferry National Historical Park celebrated its 50th anniversary. Did you know that Harbors Ferry has a Lewis and Clark connection? In 2003, during the Lewis and Clark Bicentennial, the park opened a museum about it. 17,000 YouTube hits, 400 volunteers and participants, 37 videos, 8 years, 1 vodcast. Now, the thing that we want to do, though, is to try to expand our educational programs and expand our uh, programming so that the public can have more access to these resources and so that the public will have better understanding of the importance of the resources at Harker's Ferry um, so that they will, you know, understand their history and understand why we um, do protect them for, for them.